geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Slate. Slate is a metamorphic rock formed from an older rock that has been changed by heat and pressure over many millions of years. To study slate, we need a microscope, which we use to work out that slate is made from three things. Clay minerals that are so tiny they are measured in micrometers, these particles having plate-shaped forms. Volcanic ash, again, very small particles, deposited from volcanic activity. Quartz grains, hard and resistant to erosion, these have been broken into tiny fragments. But how do these end up making slate? If we go back many, many millions of years ago, some tiny particles of plate-shaped microminerals, maybe mixed with volcanic ash and quartz grains, were being transported along, maybe deep in the sea. But then, as the current decreased, the particles became deposited as sediment on the floor. This sedimentation continued until a layer of clay-sized particles was formed, forming mud. Over time, as younger layers are deposited on top of the lower older layers, the weight of the overlying layers slowly turns the loose sediments into a sedimentary rock. The mud, for example, now turned into mudstone or shale. Over time, as the mudstone gets further buried, the increasing pressure causes the grains to realign. And then, over millions of years, as temperature exceeds 200 degrees C and pressures exceed 300 megapascals, changes happen. The sedimentary rocks change to metamorphic rock, become more compact, harder and crystalline. The mudstone now changed to slate. The crystals grow perpendicular to the direction of pressure. This alignment given the slate a foliation, which we can clearly see on our piece of slate. Many slates are grey in colour, but slate can be a variety of colours, this due to its mineral composition and the location where it was formed. Chlorite, for example, gives slate a green colour, calcium carbonate gives slate a blue colour, and hematite gives slate a purple colour. The foliation in the slate makes cleavage planes, which, if we place a chisel along one, and then hit it with a hammer, the slate will easily split into smaller pieces. The cleavage planes help us to extract slate from the ground by quarrying, enabling ledges to be cut to aid extraction, as we can see in these massive quarries in England and Australia. Wow! Here, workers are splitting the slate into large slabs which are then further split by other workers with hammers and chisels. Slate, with its properties of being coloured, splitting quite easily along cleavage planes, is crystalline and so hard wearing, is also waterproof and makes slate very useful. This modern day worker is splitting slate rock to make slates, here stacked in a neat pile, ready to use as roof slates or tiles, such as were used on this house. Slate can be roughly cut to make blocks to build dry stone walls, or can be sawn, carved and polished to make beautiful walls and paving, or gravestones, or used to write on, and is even used to make the smooth surface of snooker or pool tables. Slate! Please subscribe to my channel. Bye! That's amazing!